It's spooky season! Hi guys! I am so excited for today's video. I literally can't stop smiling because I love Halloween. So I'm really excited to be back with a conspiracy theory video. I want to at least do four conspiracy theory videos this October. Also, I'm wearing this. You can't even see it. I'm trying to angle my camera where you can see the background, which... No background! I'm gonna take this off because you can't see it. And also my head is huge, so it barely fits. I definitely had this when I was like six. So, welcome back to another creepy video. So today we're gonna be talking about an event that happened back in 2014, and that is the Brandon Howard controversy. So Brandon Howard is an American singer. He has his own album, it's called Genesis, but he's mainly known for working with other very big artists such as Neo, Lupe Fiasco, Bow Wow, Queen Vanessa Hudgens, and he even worked with <laughs> J Park? Wow. What? Brandon's parents are Mickey Howard. She is also a singer and she's an actress as well. Her hits include Come Share My Love, Love Under New Management, and Baby Be Mine. Michael stands. Does that last one sound familiar? Augie Johnson. He is the father of Brandon. He was part of the group Side Effect, which is an R&B and jazz group, and later the group became Augie's Side Effect. So going back to Brandon's mom, Mickey. This is where it kind of just gets crazy because what is the freaking coincidence? So again, Mickey is a singer. She actually got her first manager when she was 18 years old, and guess who her manager? was no other than Joe Jackson. I was seeing all over the internet that apparently Joe Jackson managed her and I was like no way but turns out I found an interview of her on YouTube and she says 100% that when she was 18 years old Joe Jackson managed her. From uh, a young woman, from an 18 year old woman, Joe Jackson was my first manager ever as, as me as a solo artist. I can tell you story after story after story of wonderful things that this man did for me. Not only does she talk about Joe Jackson managing her, she talks about Michael's family as well. She was actually very close to the Jackson family. Aside from Brandon, she also had another son and her sons would often get rides from the Jackson family to go to school. And she said that the Jacksons treated her and her two sons like they were part of their family. His children, Jermaine and, and all of them were always wonderful to me and my children. My boys, I had two boys as a single black mother. My children got picked up every weekend along with the rest of the children as if they were Jacksons. And they never asked for, make sure they got lunch money, make sure they have, no. They got picked up and, and, and from very small children were very, very well taken care of and taught a lot of wonderful things. Those, were one, those are wonderful people. So uh, Brandon and Nicholas were very, very close to the families. Now this is where things get a little wish-washy for me and I feel like it's more of a conspiracy rather than actual evidence or truth. So allegedly, Mickey had also done backup vocals for Michael during one of his tours. Now, I've seen every Michael Jackson tour there is. In fact, I own two of them on DVD. I've watched them so many times and I have not once seen her on any of his tours. I even looked it up online just to see the entire production crew of Michael's tours. And one of the first things that comes up when you look at Michael's tours are vocals and the band. And then after that, it kind of feeds into hair, makeup, and behind the scenes people. I have found absolutely no proof that she did back backup vocals while he was on any sort of tour. If she did backup vocals for him, that's great, but I don't think it was on any tour of Michael's. I just can't find anything that shows that. And allegedly one of Mickey's nicknames was Billy, and it's spelled the exact same way as Billy Jean. I, again, have found no proof of this. <laughs> this is honestly, I think, just something that was made up and then blew up because people were like, oh my God, that's crazy. I've never actually seen proof of her saying that was her nickname. Brandon calling his mom Billy, like I've never seen that. So I really don't believe that. I feel like that was just a lie and it just kind of spiraled and got out of control and people started to believe it because everyone was saying it was true. Another thing that really convinces me that this theory is not true is that she is denied on multiple occasions that Brandon is not Michael's son. I just feel like if someone was money hungry and wanted the attention, why wouldn't they say 
oh yeah, that's, you know, Michael's son. She doesn't seem like she's in it for the money in any way. I actually really like her. She seems very funny, off topic, but she seems like a really cool person. What is everybody doing? <laughs> I really don't believe she's in it for the money though. And I feel like she's telling the truth. You know what I mean? Because she could easily make a lot of money off of this by saying that he is. But then again, there's always the crazy idea that maybe it actually is true. And the Jacksons are paying for her to not say anything but that is so far-fetched in my opinion and I don't believe it, but it's something to think about. There's so many lies in show business. Does anything surprise us anymore? You know what I'm saying? So going back to Brandon. First of all, I'm not even gonna lie. I looked up videos and pictures of this man. He reminds me of Michael a lot, not even gonna play. He looks and even sounds like Michael. And honestly, after watching a few interviews, he kind of even has Michael's mannerisms and it's a little spooky. <laughs> Good child prodigy. First thing, like I started making music for like guys like um, R&B guys, like, you know, Ginny Wine and Drew Hill. And, and you grew up around the Jacksons, right? I mean, you, yeah. you know, it's easy to, to learn without learning. Michael is a huge influence of his as well. Honestly, that's not too weird to me because Michael influences so many people, it's insane. So that doesn't really surprise me. Something just weird. I mean, it's kind of funny more than it is weird or suspicious, but on his own website that talks about his singing career, an actual sentence on his website, the mysterious beauty of Billie Jean's son. That's an actual sentence on his own website. I feel like that was to poke fun at the whole situation and to be funny, but at the same time, I'm like, why would he put that? But I think it's funny regardless, honestly. So as this continued to spiral out of control and people were saying, oh, he is Michael's son or oh, he isn't. TMZ, they said they spoke with Brandon and he said he took a DNA test that he's not Michael's son, but it turns out from Brandon's side of the story, he never even spoke with TMZ and he did take a DNA test, but it was not for the same reason that TMZ was saying it was. I did not call TMZ, didn't put out a story. Nothing. I've never self-proclaimed to be Michael Jackson's son. I make my own cash, okay? It is true, I did a DNA test, but this is not anything, had nothing to do with any of this. I swear on my life. But yes, he has denied that Michael is his father so many times. And again, I feel like if someone was truly money hungry and wanted the attention, they would say, oh yeah, drag it on as long as they could to have their moments of fame. But Brandon has been very honest about it, in my opinion, and has said that he makes his own money. He's made that very clear. He makes his own money and he's not trying to get money from Michael or Michael's family. And I respect that. Another thing this is just kind of minor but the Jacksons made it very clear that he's never once went up to them and said hey Michael's my dad or I think Michael's my dad they said you know he's never even hinted at that and if he was a decent person he would talk to them first before going out and saying Michael is my father so I don't know I don't think this is anything to fret over, I guess. I personally think that this is just kind of something crazy that happened, but it was still interesting. I actually didn't know really much of anything about this. I had heard about it, but I didn't know about Brandon's mom or his father or, you know, the whole TMZ incident. It was just interesting to look into this. But that is all for this video. If you guys have any other requests for conspiracy theory videos, please let me know because last year and the year before I had so many ideas and now that the years are going and I'm doing more things, I'm kind of running out of ideas. I have two in mind as of now, but but again, I want to do four videos. So if you have any conspiracy theory video ideas, whether it's Michael, Queen, K-pop bullshit, whatever, I would love to do it. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.